Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the profitability of this FPJ that we just unboxed earlier this week called the Coal Engine P2. This is the little brother of the Superscalar K10, which is one of the more profitable FPJs to mine with right now at time of filming. So this little sibling doesn't hit the highest hash rate, unlike its older brother, the K10 Plus, but it also doesn't draw as much power as its older brother, the K10 Plus. So I wanted to break it down for you at profitability right now, as close as I can to the release date of this video. But before we get into all that, a quick word for today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you courtesy of JingleMoney.com, one of the leading crypto hardware vendors out there providing you products ranging from the jazz miner to the bitmain ant miners as well as the cool engine p2 you can help support this channel by supporting its sponsors link is in the description so the coal engine p2 it looks like an asic it sounds like an asic but it's not an asic it's an fpga that's capable of mining various algorithms like blake 3 alfium sha 5 12 256d radiant or Blake 3 Ironfish, which should be changing its algo. The project should be changing its algo if it hasn't done so already by the time this video is released. And then Carlson Hash, uh, technically Caspa as well, but Carlson Hash, you got Carlson, the cryptocurrency, or Nexel AI, the cryptocurrency. And it's, you know, weighs 11 pounds. It has a power supply similar to what we've seen before. It's not using a breakout board or anything like that. It's just powering the various six pins on the back side of the control board. Showed you in the unboxing video. And there will be full-on guides as we move forward. But I know what you're here for is the profitability of this machine. So, right now, if you switch this particular machine to Alpium, your clocks will be around 360 megahertz. And it should be doing around 37.13 giga hash at roughly 1460 watts. Now, all the numbers you see here, right? For example, for Radiant, 22.28 giga hash, 1236 watts. For Ironfish, 332 giga hash at roughly 1400 watts. And Carlson hash, uh, 32 giga hash at 1490 watts. I've honestly seen better performance from my particular machine. Not sure if it's thermals or silicon lottery or what, because I'm in North Florida. But it's not as hot as it could be. It's not the peak of the summer. And the machine's actually performing well above what it's rated for, or what it's marketed for. But what does that mean for profitability? Well, right now, this machine is $4,300 at JingleMine.com. And if you're interested in buying one, please consider using the link down in the description below, which is an affiliate link because it supports this channel. And I greatly appreciate if you did do that. And use coupon code SERPENTX on checkout to go ahead and save a little bit on it. But at $4,300, this is really up there as far as what you, the end user, might consider or might not consider depending upon what other devices are there out there. Like if we're talking about profitable crypto miners, we're looking at Caspa KS5s and KS3s and super expensive devices, as well as maybe like Bitmain S21s or the What's Miners M63s and above. And those machines are in the 4000s plus, if not around 4000 and just a little bit under. Just depends on which model you're looking at. So this machine, this FPGA, does put it in that realm. And I have all the numbers for you, but you always got to do what's best for you, your setup, considering your electric costs. And additionally, while these ASICs, whether it's the Caspa miners from Bitmain or Ice River or the Bitcoin miners from Bitmain and Wet's Miner, they only mine a specific token or on a specific algorithm like SHA-256. So if that coin becomes unprofitable, which I doubt Bitcoin will ever become unprofitable to mine again in the future, even with the upcoming halving, the point is, is that you're stuck on that one coin while the FPJ allows you more options so you can adapt according to the ecosystem, the current environmental conditions. Right now, this machine will cost you roughly $5, around $5, on average a day to run if your electricity was around 10 to 15 cent per kilowatt hour but i know some of you folks in the eu are paying 40 plus cents per kilowatt hour so obviously that's going to be a lot more eight dollars a day so on and so forth but around five dollars a day radiant is the more power efficient it's only four dollars and 46 cents but around the average of five dollars is what i'm seeing no matter which algorithm we are on alfium iron uh carlson hash whether we're on ironfish on nice hash or nexel ai but what I rather focus on is the amount of cryptocurrency I earn. However, I know you might be looking at the fiat value, right? Because you need to cover your overhead, your bills, and whatever it might be. So right now, at time of recording, you'll be earning a little bit less than five Alfium a day. 
I'm actually averaging around five alpha a day, at least when I was testing this particular algorithm. I am now testing radiant at time of filming. And that will equate to around $14 a day right this second. You will roughly make around 5.2 iron a day or $12.78 or 1222 KLS or Carlson at $14.54 or 0.00015 Bitcoin at $10.57 or 11.55 Nexel AI at 15.57, which is the most profitable right now, right this very second, that and Carlson hash, or 58 to almost 6,000 radiant a day, roughly around $14.31. What that means in profit at 10 to 15 cent per kilowatt hour is Alfium is around $8.71. Uh, you got Iron Fish at $7.74. Carlson hash at $9.17. Uh, you got iron fish on nice hash, right? So you're mining it to earn Bitcoin, right? Right around five dollars and fifty-three cents, because obviously there's fees and conversion fee, uh, conversion rates that you have to deal with. Uh, Nexel AI ten dollars and twenty-one cents, and then Radiant nine dollars and eighty-five cents. So I put the price, the average price, depending on the algorithm that we're on, around nine dollars. We're a little bit shy of that on Alfium. We're about a dollar and fifteen cents or twenty-five cents shy on iron fish uh, and we're nowhere near it if we're mining it on nice hash but everywhere else radiant 985 next ai 1021 carlson hash 917 everywhere else we're around nine dollars so if we calculate the cost of investment of forty three hundred dollars and we divide that by nine dollars a day it will be basically 500 days under 500 days to recoup what you spent on this machine now granted that is taking a risk right just as it is with any other machine out there and you can go to um mine the asic and you can see some of the variable uh you know different coins and, and profitability and pricing and all that good stuff but this k10 will earn more per day than it would on the co-ledger p2 but the p2 doesn't use as much power while this thing drinks almost 1900 watts you know depending on the algorithm you'll be anywhere between 1500 and under right and still getting a pretty decent hash rate and you can utilize this information to help you determine which miner will be best for you and your setup you can see not only the superscalar k10 is at the number 26 position but its little brother the coal engine p2 is at number 30 with it averaging around ten dollars and eighty cents a day and payback time of 12.6 months so under 500 days around 500 days at 10 cent per kilowatt hour but there are other miners that might be more attractive in this price point. So you always got to do what's best for you. Uh, some of the Bitmain examples or Ice River, they are focusing just on Caspa. You have the Jazz Miner X16-P, which is at least in the top 10, earning around $28 a day that you can also buy from JingleMining.com. And so you have to weigh out the pros and cons and figure out if any of the projects that this particular FPJ can mine is one that you want to focus on and there might be future bitstream or updates to this miner allowing us to mine other tokens that aren't available right now so as i always tell the community and my colleagues always do what's best for you your setup but i just wanted to share the profitability of this machine let me know your thoughts down in the comments below future updates or other videos like guides on how to update the algo how to switch the pools some of the issues i experience while working with this fpj will be coming out in the future but i know you wanted the profitability now if you made it this far into the video please do me a favor and put hashtag p2-x or p2x whichever you prefer sounds like an exercise program it's not it's the fpj featured in today's video and a huge thanks to our sponsor jinglemind.com for helping us get this unit and do some testing to provide to you besides that that's going to do it for today's video please do me a favor on the way out hit that like button get subscribed hit notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here i greatly appreciate you and you all take care have a wonderful day i'll catch you in the next one